Yeah, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, thanks for clicking on the video. And I hope you get something out of the video. If you do, consider subscribing. But quick video, I'm just going to show you how to import H2RI and maybe a good place to get one. So let's jump into Blender. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you is where to get H2RIs. Probably the best place is Polyhaven. And you can see uh, when you get uh, into Polyhaven, this is what will come up. Just go H2Rs, click browse, then these are coming soon, and these are what are available. All of these, okay. So let's say I want to download this one, click on it, and you can download 1k, 2k, 4k, up to 24k. Usually, what I will do is set it to like 8, 4 is also fine. Then you just click download. So I just downloaded the 1k just to show you for an example. Once you're in Blender, the first way to do it is just before you even do anything, go to Preferences, click Node, and make sure that the Node Wrangler add-on is enabled. You will need it. Well, it's good to have it. So the first way is you go here, and you click on this color dot. Go down here to Environment Texture, and then Right here where it says open, click here, go to downloads, and then there it is there, click on it, open image, and if I go in here, there we go. And that brings us in. Okay, so how do we do it another way? Let's bring in a new file. Okay, second way to do it, we add a shading. Click here, and you click World. Then you go Shift A, and type in Environment Texture. Plug the color into the color. Open, and then same thing. Bring it in, and then if I go here, now let's go to Camera View. Okay, so let me just go Shift A and add a plane. Scale it up. Okay. So let's say I want to move the clouds or rotate it. This is where the node wrangler add on will come in handy. You click on this, you click on that, you go control T. And now if I do this, I can adjust the rotation, the scale, I can just, let me just bring this back to one, I can move this around, I can move it up and down, like that, and then this will, usually what I would use is the X and the Z axis. Okay, so there is two ways to add the HDRI into your scene. Hopefully the video helped you. If you did, if it did, smash the like button and I'll see you in the next one.